Hi guys, so today we will be revisiting my nail jar. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think I've made some progress on filling this up since my last nail jar video. In my last nail jar video, one of you had the best idea ever, and I literally wrote this person's name down when I saw it. Lexi Gonzalez, thank you so much for this idea. This is such a cool idea, and I think it'll be a really fun challenge. So we will be picking two nails from my nail jar and trying to mush them into one design. And if you aren't new here, you know what kind of range there is on designs. We have ones from sculpted teddy bears, cake nails, duck nails, hand-drawn squishmallow nail art. There is so much in here, so I'm sure we're going to get some weird combos. I'm a little nervous because this isn't quite something that I can like plan ahead to not make so chaotic. So we're just going on a ride today. I have given this a good shake, but I'll do it again for good measure. Okay, are we ready to pick the first design? Okay, gotta take the top off, get the scoop out. You wanna scoop of nails for dessert? Let me know. All right, combo number one, let's see what happens. I'm gonna grab the first nail. What is this? Okay, we have a 3D printed nail. Let's see the second one. So for our first combo, we have a fall skull, but the skull is 3D printed. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna work that out. Let's see. My goal with these nails are to combine them in a way where it's almost a design mixed together and not necessarily a design where I've taken elements of each and just patched them all together, if that makes sense. So figuratively putting them in a blender and then out comes a whole new nail. <laughs> I have, however, decided to use the 3D skull nail as my base for this because we just can't like leave that out. I know I've been doing a lot of sets on tips, but I'm going to be doing these on my nails. So we got to get this one on. I don't remember if you could use gel to adhere these, but I'm going to try that today. I'm going to etch the inside of it with the Apre Gel X Prep and I'm using the Beatles nail glue. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this gel on here to just stick it down and it's a perfect fit even though these tips are kind of clear it's taking quite a while for them to cure i'm on my second 60 seconds curing it was not fully cured the first time so weird but i don't think this is gonna cure i don't know why like the outside part has cured but it will not cure through this which is really strange you guys see that look at oh ew I guess we'll have to glue them on. And just FYI, for those of you that don't know this nail glue, it is a curable nail glue. It's just a gel, despite the nail glue name. Let's retry this with glue instead now. And voila, much better with some glue. And yes, I did just nick myself at the quite literal worst possible time. It is kind of hard to see the skull without any color on it, but voila, first step done. We're gonna start off with the skull face. I just got this rub on top coat and I really wanna try it. It is specifically made for using like a powder and stuff. So I felt like that was really cool. So I'm just going to start on this like so. It is fairly thin, so hopefully we can keep the shape of the skull. I know that was something that I struggled with when I tried these tips. Looks good to me, now I'm gonna cure it. Then I'm gonna use this powder that unfortunately exploded. I'm gonna just use my finger to rub this on for right now. Okay, oh, I didn't realize that this was hollow. I thought it was just like a bronze. Cool, gonna be a little bit of a challenge getting in all of these little itty bitty crevices. I'm gonna try one of these like little mini Q-tips to try and flip it on in. For this bottom part, I'm going to do white. I love how that skull looks, especially with the hollow, it looks really cool. So I'm just gonna go over all of this and I will use a detail brush towards the top to be careful of all the teeth and stuff. To bring back a little bit of that blue and also to, you know, sort of keep on the glitter theme, I'm gonna put some of these glitters on here. I'm gonna just put down a layer of gel for it. They should hopefully have that blue reflect and match the same stars on the fall nail. Gonna cure that now. And let's finish off with a top coat. I kinda still have that glitter everywhere, but voila, here is the fall 3D skull. Nail two, let's see what I get. 
I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea when this nail is from and it looks really rough, it's really bumpy. What are we gonna have to combine it with? <laughs> This one honestly should be pretty easy. This nail is from my recent shoot with McCart for their disco collection and both of these nails are a little bit transparent, have some glitter, so this nail I think will look really good and it won't be too hard. So thank you Jar for giving me a little bit of a break on the second nail. These I don't think are gonna be too hard to combine. They both pretty much have a similar base pink and this one's a little bit like pink black and then the orange stripe with some hollow stars and thankfully I found the sticker sheet that I used. So I'm just going to start by prepping the underside of this nail because I'm just going to put the poly gel directly on the inside. I'm gonna be using a Vagabond from the Disco Collection with McCart. So I'm just going to directly put a little bit on the underside here and spread it out. This is a reflective and hollow glitter poly gel. I gotta add a little bit more. And then I'm just going to stick it directly on down and cure it and that looks so pretty i miss doing poly gel we should get back into poly gel a little bit more i know we've been doing a lot of acrylic gotta do some more poly gel because look how pretty that is my idea to incorporate the swirl is to do it with blooming gel that way it's not so harsh and then we can add the stars and i'm hoping that kind of looks like a galaxy for the orange i had used this one from the disco collection as well and let's see how good of a spread we can get with this because i don't really want it so super defined. I really want it to spread out. Now we wait. It's not quite spreading out like I want, so I might just kind of like help it a little bit. Okay, that's fairly spread out. I'm gonna cure this now. Then of course the hollow stars. Ooh, look how pretty. And we are actually just gonna top coat it now. I definitely feel like this nail looks like I put these two in a blender and this is what came out. So let's move on. Next up, all right, let's see. Uh-oh, I got two, I'm just gonna, there we go. Another clear-ish nail with some stickers and glitter. I think there's probably a lot of those in here. And it will be combined with A nail I don't remember at all, to be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have absolutely no idea when I did either of these nails. I don't know what I was thinking when I did this one, but it is not very good. And then this one is pretty much just some glitter. I have, again, no idea. This one was acrylic, this one was just a tip. I'm gonna do acrylic since I am going to put a bunch of glitter. I'm gonna use these coffin tips from Ellen Nailed It, or tip, since I'm just doing one nail. Let's get a little bit of monomer out for today. Is that an ant? Why is there an ant right here? Is it alive? No. Encapsulated ant? Ugh. Just kidding. I'm sure that ant was in for a real bad time when it got up to my uh, monomer jar. I'm going to use Young Nails Speed Clear for this. And I'm just going to start with just a single bead to just kind of get a nice little base on there. For the glitter, I'm gonna use this one by Dumb Blonde Glitter. It seemed perfect, like it had a huge mix in there, like the nail that had a bunch of glitter on it, because I don't know what that glitter is from. And I have a bunch of mixes that look almost exactly like this. I wasn't about to go through like 200 of them for like the third time. <laughs> okay, apparently this one has little Mickey ears in this. Did not notice that. I'm not really a Disney person, but that's all right. You know, we're gonna work with it. I feel like it's missing like green or something like that. Do you guys agree? There we go, I found this one. And I'm going to encapsulate that now. It's gonna be a little thick, but that's all right. Just a little thick. Mm -hmm. All right, definitely a little thick, but once we shape it up, it'll be fine, hopefully. Let's get a quick little magical file done. Still a little thick, but it's all right. For this nail, I truly have no idea what I was even thinking. I think this part is the cat's eye magnetic stuff. So I'm gonna use that. Then I'm gonna use these, the Space Kitty and Galaxy Kitty cat's eye gels. I'm going to start with a base coat to make it a little bit easier to ombre the cat's eye down. There we are. Then I don't think I'm liking that. 
I do have this Galaxy Space Kitty one, and let's see if that one is any better. This one's more of like a blue. Let's just see how this one looks. I feel like you can see it a little bit. You see what I mean? I do think that's a little better. I'm gonna try another shade of it too to just, you know, darken it up a tiny bit. Imagine if the gel that is on that one nail isn't even the Galaxy gel, <laughs> but I just don't even remember what I used or what nail that's from. And again, thankfully, I was able to find the same stickers that I used, right? Yep, exact same, yay, perfect. I feel like you can see the cat's eye a bit. Hopefully it'll look prettier outside. I'm gonna try to use some of the smaller flowers. I'm actually thinking I might not add any of the butterflies since there are butterfly glitters in there. I feel like that might be good enough. I don't wanna like overdo it with it looking the exact same. So there's that, and I'm gonna put a top coat on it now. What is this? This one is very obviously a failed nail. I don't know if you guys ever saw it, but it doesn't even have a top coat on it. So that means I think it looks like acrylic. So I must have done the acrylic, filed it, and then decided I hated it and clipped it off as I often do. So that's fine, we'll keep that one. <laughs> Let's see number two. I feel like a little claw machine with my hand being like Whoa. And literally a nail from like two videos ago. What is with this? I swear, like if you look on top, look at this. This is like last Halloween, last Halloween, like definitely older ones. I don't know why this always happens. I've been racking my brain trying to think when I'd made this one, but I have absolutely no idea. What I can only think is that maybe it was a custom acrylic that I did and didn't like. I have no idea. So for this, we're gonna use a technique I have not done in a little while, but first let's get the tip on. We're finally doing a shape other than coffin, thankfully. Now I'm gonna pull over my monomer. And we're actually going to put some gel polish in here to color it red. I'm going to start off with just like a drop of this jelly polish because I do want to still be able to see the hollow inside. Probably a little bit more. Come on. Perfect. Mm. Put a little bit more. There we go. That's more like it. I'm just using the same acrylic. But now our clear should be sort of a red jelly. Just getting a little bit of that base on. And instead of hollow powder, I'm going to use hollow glitter. So pretty. Ooh, I think that's gonna be so pretty. Let's make sure I get lots of glitter on that. And I'm gonna try to not make this one as thick as the other. Now I'm just going to clear cap this and the red should hopefully show through a little bit more now because I put a lot of that glitter basically covering the whole base. Again, I'll be back in one moment with a filed nail. Of course, we're going to have to add rhinestones because this is the only one we've gotten so far with any sort of charm or rhinestone. I am just going to follow that same pattern around the nail. And I'm using this Kira Sky Blinket Gel. You would think with how many nails I have in there with rhinestones, we would have gotten more, but I guess not. I believe these are the same ones that I used. Probably enough. This acrylic looked so good and so shiny. Using that jelly polish was definitely the way to go because you can definitely still see the glitter, but it's definitely red and it's still really, really clear. It looks so shiny, so pretty. All right, our last but not least combo. So, so far I noticed that we pretty much have only chosen coffin shapes picking out of the jar. I don't know if that's just because coffin shapes like pick up easier or something like that, but I was hoping that there would be some weirder combos. I feel like I'm getting a lot of like clear and glitter, probably because I've done a lot of clear glitter nails, but there's some like crazier ones in here. So I was hoping to get that. And as much as I want to do those, I will never like fake results. So it is what it is. In case it is just the way I'm picking it up, you know, the way it's easier to grab things with these, I'm going to shake it up and then I'm not looking. I'm gonna to try to just grab like a nail. Ready? I got two. Oh no. 
You know what? I got two. This will be the nails that we combine. I believe the stiletto nail was from a Draw My Nails and the other one was from McCart's Bird of Paradise collection video, if I remember correctly. I don't remember all of these, but I can remember a couple. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed with my selections, but at the end of the day, there's only so many different combos because I do put all of my nails in here, not just like one. So from a set, say I have a set of, you know, 10 translucent glitter nails, there's gonna be 10 of those in here. So we do have bigger chances of grabbing stuff like that, opposed to a really cool one-off nails like I do in Subscribers Draw My Nails, if that makes sense. But let's get into the last combo. So I actually do remember each of these nails, thankfully. And I think this one is going to be a good design that can be combined. So I'm starting off with a full cover tip. We're just going to attach that really quick. Using this new nail plumper gel from a cart, it's essentially kind of like a praise extend gel. I also have it on my nails as my protective base. I would say it is a little bit thinner than a praise though, for sure and not quite as opaque. I'm gonna get my shades out. I think this is the shade that I had used. Don't need too much. All right, I'm going to start by doing a French tip, but I'm going to leave this part clear. This is more so just the outline of a French tip. That is pretty much just going to stay that blue outline, but I will retrace it after we do everything else so it's more defined. Now I'm going to do a base of white all over the nail, aside from right there, but again, I'll touch that up so it's not a huge deal if we get some on it. And I'll get to use my fave blooming gel for this. I'm sure no one's surprised. And I'm only putting this on the white, and I'll pick up some of that black and green, and let's just see what we can get going on here. That looks kind of cool. I don't know if that's exactly what I'm going for, but it's really cool looking. I think I need to add more green. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of white back in to just make sure it doesn't get too one color. I feel like that's a good mix. I'm gonna let it sit and do its thing now. Before I cure this, I've gotta clean up those sides though, cause that's a little thick. I definitely realize this is a lot more swirly than sort of marbly like this, but I feel like it looks a lot better. I'm going to touch up this blue. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more blue. It looks a bit gray. And then this nail has a black outline, so I'm actually gonna do that in that same blue that we outlined at the French tip. I am deciding that this nail is done. I'm not going to add a leaf or anything to it. Feel like it looks better without the leaf. The leaf wasn't even a sticker or anything either. I think it was a paper charm that I put underneath the tip. And if I remember right, it was a pain to do that. At last, we have made it to the comparisons. So let's see how I did with everything side by side. All right, skull, what do we think? I actually think it looks pretty good. I think there's elements of everything in both. It's really hard to hold my thumb like this, so that's why it looks so awkward. But I like it. What do you guys think? Next up, we have our jelly glitter combo. This is what it looks like with white underneath, because I know sometimes it can be kind of hard to see with the glitter background, but you can definitely see that little bit of the orange swirl that I put. This one honestly wasn't very hard, so I think it's fine. Aside from the thickness of this nail, I feel like it did actually come out as a combo of the two. This one definitely isn't the best and most creative combination, but it is nonetheless a combo. Hopefully this one will look a little bit prettier out in the sunlight. This one might be my favorite just because of how pretty the acrylic is on this and how shiny it came out. A lot of the time when you have a color in with glitter acrylic it can be really hard to see but the jelly on this is just perfect i feel like it's a really good combo too like i feel like if you literally took this one and this one and crushed them up and then made them into acrylic it would look something like that and finally our last nail i absolutely took a little bit more liberty with this one but i love the way that black green squirrel squirrel I love the way that black and green swirl looks. I also love that you can see kind of like the quality of the nails as time has gone on. I did this one quite a while ago and even though it was just a full cover tip, it is a little bit lumpy. This one is a little bit newer, I think about a year ago. And then this one obviously today, much smoother, better shaped. Also a little bit of a side note, I really like the shadow on the base that you get when you put the color underneath the tip and then paint 
the French tip over. I feel like it's a really good definition between the two, opposed to if you have the color and then the tip on top. I feel like it's a really good dimension. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to revisit the nail graveyard for a little bit, and I've been thinking about this idea for so long. So once again, thank you Lexi Gonzalez for this idea. It was very fun. Please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and if you wanna see more nail jar videos, I wanna make videos that you guys wanna watch. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.